What's up, guys? It's your boy, Chicks. Boy, life sure is great when you're a rich white man. The crimes you can commit and get away with and the excuses people are going to make on your behalf. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Dana White was recorded on New Year's putting hands on his wife. Now, a lot of people thought for sure that there would be nationwide coverage on the story. It'd be nonstop, 24-7. Everybody will be talking about it. Everybody will be angry about it, especially given Dana White's stance on domestic abuse in the past. Now, a lot of people were looking for ESPN, Stephen A. Smith, to have a very, very strong take on this, right? But here's what Stephen A. Smith said, and here's how he handled it so delicately. Now, before I play this clip for you guys, just picture Dana White being a black athlete and tell me if you can imagine these words coming out of Stephen A. Smith's mouth. The, 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 the inordinate amount of times we've had to address subjects like this, we have to maintain consistency in pointing out, you do not put your hands on a woman if you are a man. You do not do it. Dana White knows that. And, you know, all I can say is that, again, he has spoken out against men who put their hands on women before. And whatever punishment you would exact under these circumstances to somebody else is what he should apply to himself. But I, I love him. I could him see and him I, doing something I, even stricter just yes, because yes. he's the leader. You know, yes. and he's and he's the leader of men. So to, yes. to your point, not just what's enacted to a fighter, but maybe right. a little stiffer sure. be, because he's the head. I just want to say a couple of things. Uh, they talked about being um, drinking heavily yeah. when you're under the influence, not shining moments. Often people don't make their best decisions. So in that sense, it's, it's a cautionary tale. Yep. And in terms of it being an isolated incident, I've known Dana since I'm 22. I have yes. the utmost respect for him. Yes. Um, and I don't judge people by their worst moment. I agree with you on that punishment part. And, and the other piece that I just want to say, as a woman, it, it was also his wife's hands on him. So no, no one should be putting their hands on anyone. Okay. Male, female, female, male. Um, well, like I said, you're absolutely right. I, I don't disagree. I have nothing to add other than I just think it's important that if you're going to sit on this platform, you, you, you owe it to your audience to be honest, yeah. to be honest and forthcoming. Dana White is not just somebody we, I know in sports, nor you. He's a friend. Yeah. I love him. And I just wish the best for him and his family. And, um, you know, he knows we, you know, he knows how wrong he was to do this. And he, you know, he knows that we're on this. Air. He knew ahead of time because I reached out to him to let him know I would be talking about this yeah. this morning. He knows that he crossed the line that he has never crossed before and that he swears he will never cross mm -hmm. again. And he's incredibly ashamed of himself. Um, and, and that's just where we are right now. So yeah. that, I'm not that's a part of say. the whole cancel culture and I don't right. judge people by their worst moment. Yeah. And he has a beautiful family. Yes, he does. Now, after listening to this, Jamel Hill was fed up with the coverage and she actually called out Stephen A. Smith. She pointed out how Stephen A. Smith and Molly were gushing over Dana White and the relationship they have with him. Jamel Hill said that Stephen A. Smith and Molly Quirin were especially gracious to Dana White, whom they both admitted they are friendly with. And then she also went on to say that it would not have been as nuanced and delicate if it had been about somebody they didn't know. And then she also went on to say that coverage of the incident, which overall has been pretty soft, saying that having worked at ESPN for 12 years, I know intimately the difference between cursory coverage and a nonstop national conversation filled by the massive sports media machine. And I have to agree with her. Stephen A. Smith, whenever it comes down for Stephen A. Smith to have a strong opinion on his rich white millionaire friends or billionaire friends, Stephen A. Smith always, always, always cowers down. He never goes as hard criticizing these guys as he does when it comes to black players for lesser offenses. Every day we watch Stephen A. Smith talk about Kyrie Irving and the tweet that he shared. Stephen A couldn't wait to get to the ESPN studio every day. But when it comes down to his friends, I know this guy. He's cool. I called him right before, told him I was going to talk about this. He's not that kind of person. But tell me what you guys think about this man, Jamel Hill, calling out Stephen A Smith for the soft coverage he has on Dana White. Just push comments below, subscribe to my channel, please like this video. I'll see you guys later.